All right, all right, all right. Mic check one, two, one, two. Let me make sure my microphone is working, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second. Uh oh, got too much going on here. Oh. All right. Am I? I think I'm good. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is your boy Tech G live in the place to be. Hopefully my internet connection isn't super duper choppy. If it is, please forgive me. I'm waiting on a uh, Ethernet to USB connector to come to my house right now. Because uh, in my room, I got to operate off Wi-Fi. My, my wireless router is upstairs, and sometimes I get choppy connections. So I had to go buy these. I had to go buy these things right here. Uh, what are they called? Uh, power over Ethernet adapters. Uh, let's see if I can pull them up. Power over Ethernet. Let's pull Ethernet. So anyway, I had to go buy joints right here. TP Link AV2000. That. All right, so I bought some of these right here. Because anyways... I'm in my office downstairs, and like I say, my Wi-Fi router's upstairs, and sometimes it causes a choppy internet connection when I do live streams, so I had to go buy these little devices right here. If you guys don't know what these are, these are called power line adapters. So basically, what you do, you plug it into the wall, you take one of your ethernet cables, you plug it up in here. And then you plug one of your Ethernet cables into your router. Uh, let's see if they got a picture. Let me see if I can find it on Amazon. I think Amazon got better pictures. Right here. So anyways, you take one of these joints right here. All right, here we go. So here, here's your little here's your little router right here. You plug one of these joints into your wall. You take your Cat5 cable, which comes in the box. You plug it into one of the LAN ports on your Wi-Fi router. And then whatever room that you want to have a hard wire connection to, you take the other adapter, plug it into the wall. You pair these joints together, connect the uh, Ethernet cable to your computer, and boom, it's almost like you have one giant Cat5 cable from whatever room that's directly a quote unquote connected to this Wi-Fi router. So basically, it sends your Ethernet connection, your ones and zeros through the wiring in your house. So you can use this method in the event that you don't feel like calling the cable company or whoever your ISP, your Internet service provider is to come through and run another drop to put to install like a cat five drop in your wall this is a cheaper easier alternative uh, now the problem is i forgot to buy a dog i forgot to buy one of these joints right here ethernet usb adapter i don't have one of these laying in my house so my macbook I don't have an Ethernet adapter or plug on a nick on my doggone um, MacBook. So I got to go buy one of these, plug it into my USB. Then I plug my Cat5 cable into that, and then it'll be just like I'm hardwired. So that's that's what I'm waiting on. So if you if you, if you hear some choppy Internet, then it kind of is what it is. So anyways, let's go ahead and get to the, uh, to the purpose of this video. So somebody has sent me a message or a question. It was like, how do you go about renewing your IT certification? So I'm going to keep this strictly within the context of um, CompTIA certifications, right? Because that's what this channel is primarily about, is CompTIA certs, everything from IT fundamentals, A+, Net+, Security+. Uh, that's, what, that's what I teach on this channel. All that stuff can be found on my website, Technology G. As soon as this thing, uh, man, this thing is moving slow today. What's going on? All right. Well, while that's doing its thing, so that's what we teach over here. So anyways, how do you renew your cert? So first thing you got to understand, all right, here we go. 
So here's my website in case you guys are interested. Some of y'all should be interested. Uh, IT Fundamentals, A+, plus, Core 1, Core 2, I'm building Network Plus out. After that, I'll slap Security Plus up here. And yes, I know it uh, seems like it's a long time. It takes me to put these classes up, but you got to understand this is a one-man band operation over here, ladies and gentlemen. So those are the courses, those are the classes that I teach, the IT certifications that I teach. So let's talk about the renewal certification. So somebody wants to know how long does it take for you before you have to renew an IT cert? So it takes on average, uh, I want to take not average, but it takes three years. So today's date is, um, what's today's date? Today is September 12th. So if you went and got certified today, September 12th, 2021, whatever IT certification that you have, comp to your IT cert that you have, it would expire three years from today. So September 12th, uh, 2024 will be the expiration date for whatever IT cert that you are pursuing whether it's um, especially if you're pursuing one of these lower level certs or these entry level certs, IT fundamentals, A plus, net plus, and eventually I'll have security plus. Up there. But uh, it's three years from the time that you pass the test to the time that that certification expires. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can go to uh, renew these certifications without you having to actually go sit down to take the test again. And one of the easiest ways that most people do it, what most people do Let's just say you come out the gate and you're like, I'm going to go ahead and get IT fundamentals, right? What's going on? Um, what's going on, uh, Jesus Junkie? So one of the easiest ways to renew your IT certification. So, you, so let's just say, once again, today's date is September 12th. You go out there, you get your IT fundamentals, you pass, you got your certification in hand, you out here doing things with your life. Remember, you got till September 12th. 2024 before this IT certification expires. Now, you got a couple options on how to renew it. One way you can do that is to go simply take the test again or take the newest iteration of the test, which I highly discourage people to do. <laughs> I highly discourage people to do that because basically you're going to have to go back to that, do that whole testing process and go take this test again. The easiest way you can do this is, which is what most people do, they'll just go get a higher level cert. So let's just say you got this. And then two months later or whenever, let's just say, yeah, let's just say two months later, you went and got your A-plus certification, right? So two months from today, what is that? October, November. So November 12th, you roll out there with your A-plus certification. Well, your A-plus certification is not going to expire until October 12th, 2024. Also, your IT fundamentals will now have an expiration date of October 12th, 2024. And then if you go do Network Plus a month after that, uh, so we're talking November 12th, you get your Network Plus, your expiration date is November 12th, 2024 for your Network Plus. Well, guess what? Your A Plus and your IT fundamentals, they too now have an expiration date of November 12th, 2024. So basically what I'm saying is every time you get a higher level certification, as far as it relate, directly relates to CompTIA, it will automatically renew your lower level certifications are are based or renew them and and in addition to renewing them extend the um renew the uh, expiration date on the certification so that's so that's um so that's method number 2 so method number 1 was you can go sit down and take these tests again and pay the money for the vouchers and all that other stuff which i highly discourage Method number two, which is what most people do, they just simply go get a higher level certification, which will by default renew the lower level certifications. Now, there are other methods out there. Let's go talk about them real quick. So you have these things called continuing educational units, uh, CEUs, right? These are basically little points that you can earn throughout a three-year period or so um, that says if you earn X amount of points, CompTIA will automatically update whatever certification that uh, is on the verge of expiring. And basically, they have like little activities of sorts that you can engage in to um, to basically go out there and uh, renew these certifications. So let's so we come back over here. So, anyways, you go do a Google search for how to renew your CompTIA cert. It'll take you to this web page. But anyways, you go choose your renewal path, right? You can go to choose your renewal path. And it's going to say something like 
You can renew with a single activity, and then it's going to give you a list of options you can do that by. So one option that they came up with is this right here. Uh, where to go? You can renew. Is this it? Yeah, you can renew doing what is called the CompTIA Cert Master uh, Continuing Education course. And uh, this is like, I don't know how, this is rather recent as far as, as far as I know. But basically what this is, is you go pay some money, like $129, right? So let's just, what is this for? This is for the A plus cert. So if you have, um, so if you got the A plus certification and you still have the 900 series, right? Understand over here, I teach the 1000 series, 1001, 1002. But the series before that was the 901 series. So if you have the 900 series, the 901 and the 902, instead of you going out there to, to uh, take the test to get the 1001, are you going to get the, um, the Network Plus certification? Uh, if, you, if you don't feel like doing all that, you can come over here to CompTIA and pay $129 for like an 8 to 10 hour course. Um, I don't know what's in this course. I've never taken it, but it's just an eight to 10 hour course. You go take, you go sit down, listen to some videos, watch some slideshows or whatever it is, is that they have you do up in there. And once you finish that, you submit your documentation, they will automatically um, apply some, some points towards your, um, towards your, toward, where's, where's the slide? Hold up. I'm assuming they're going to automatically apply some points towards your CEUs over here. That's, that's what I'm thinking they're going to do. Matter of fact, let's just. Let's go ahead and read this thing. Hold on. Uh, okay, so this is a new and efficient way to renew your cert automatically. Use a self-paced e-learning course to build on the knowledge and skills you demonstrated when you first passed your exam. Acquire new expertise to match the requirements included in the most current exam objectives. Uh, this enables you to rapidly bridge your knowledge, and uh, it is designed to help. Okay. All right, says, so you are eligible to take the CERT Master CE course if you pass the A plus 901 and 902 or earlier. So anything from 901 and below, or if you want to apply this towards Network Plus, it has to be the uh, the N N10-007 or earlier, or the Security Plus 501 and earlier. Uh, to renew your CERT, you must score 100% on all the assessments in the course. The assessments can be reset from the assessment uh review page once you completed all this okay what is this let me see all right you must complete this within a three-year renewal period is valid for 12 months from the time you buy this thing uh comp to you will automatically renew your cert. okay here we go here's what i was looking for so anyways you go take this you go pay this 129 dollars for the 901 series or below or the same one for the network plus or the security plus and it states right here CompTIA will automatically renew your certification upon completion of this course. You will not need to submit course completion documentation. So that is another method for you to uh, renew your IT certifications without having to go take a certain certification exam again or without you even having to go get a higher level cert. But this is only for if you if you uh hold certain certification series numbers so this comp to your cert master is only good for those of you who have the 900 series or below or you know the same thing with the comp to you i mean not the comp to you the network plus and the security plus so that's that's another method out there right uh some other activities you can engage in it says you can earn a higher level comp to your cert we already talked about that uh, you can earn a non comp to your industry certification. So they'll even let you go out there and get uh, higher level certs that aren't even comp to you. So let's see what this is saying. You can renew your comp to your cert by earning or renewing a qualifying non comp to your IT cert. All comp to your certs that are part of the CE program can be renewed by earning qualifying non comp to your IT certs. Uh, click on your certification. All right, so let's see. So let's just say I want to renew my A+, plus, right? Because it's about to expire. Let's see what I can do to renew the A+. Plus. All right, so check this out. All right, so 
You got your A plus 1001, 1002. So your A plus certified out in these streets and your A plus is about to expire and you don't feel like going to get your network plus security plus or whatever, whatever. Uh, you can go out here and get these other certifications and they will renew your A plus certification. So it says certifications in this list are subject, subject to change without prior notification. As CompTIA exams are updated, so is this list. Certifications uploaded into a certification record by the candidate prior to the change will remain valid. Certs earned that were previously uh, that were listed previously and have not been uploaded into a certification record can no longer be used. So anyways, you go out there and you get some type of Amazon cert or Cisco cert. Let's see what they talking about out here. Oh, here we well, maybe I should have just kept the same page. Oh, yeah, I could have just kept the same page open. All right, so here we go right here. So you go down here, you get you an Amazon, um, uh, uh, Amazon, uh, what is this? Certified Solutions Architect, or you come down here, get you an Apple Certified Support Professional, or any of these certs that they got listed. The CSENT, uh, they got CCNA, yeah, they got CCNA right here. So you go out there and get your CCNA. You skip Network Plus, Security Plus. Your CCNA will automatically renew your uh, your comp to your A plus as well. So that's another method right there. You can go get non comp to your certs to renew your um, comp to your certifications. All right. So that's another method. Uh, what's another method? Okay, you can pass the latest exam. So if you got the nine hundred, you go take the one thousand one, one thousand two. You're good. Uh, what is this compare all single what is this i don't even know what the, oh maybe they're just comparing okay okay here we go so they, anyway they're just comparing everything that we just talked about for the most part now you got some other stuff that you can do that includes multiple activities right yeah yeah jesus junkie CompTIA is out here trying to make it easy for the peoples out there instead of you having to go cough up all, all that money to go take a new certification right so Let's talk about multiple activities. So it says you can complete a combination of activities to earn the number of CEUs you need to renew your comp to your cert. So we already talked about this. You can earn another comp to your cert. We've already talked about you getting a non, uh, a, a comp, a non comp to your IT cert. Um, what is this? Complete. Did we look at this one yet? Complete training in higher education. Do I got that window open already? Let me see. All right, let me close some of these windows out because I'm getting I'm getting a little lost in my windows. Hold on. All right, so let's let's click on this and see what this is out here talking about. All right, so this is uh training in higher education. You can uh you can you can earn CEUs by completing various training and educational activities, such as completing a training course attending a live webinar, attending a conference, completing a college course, and completing American Council on Education course. I don't know what that is. But uh, so let's just say you go out there, you complete some type of training course. Now understand, Tech G is an official, is, is an official recognized training course from CompTIA. You're like, how do I know? Right here, see this right here? I'm a CompTIA authorized partner. So if you go look up CompTIA authorized partners who can sell vouchers and other things they'll have a list of everybody in the world that is a comp to your authorized partner and you're going to see my name on that list technology g so my stuff is 100 percent legit right now here's the only issue that i have i'm not even going to say it's a real issue but it's something that i got to work into it so let's just say you're like hey i went through and i watched all the tech g's videos on it fundamentals a plus whatever whatever right i'm trying to renew my certification if I had, if I, if I was able to, well, I'm not, currently I don't have it set up to where I can pass out a, um, a training certificate that will list technology G, how many hours you spent going through the course material, um, and basically just give you a, let's just look it up, uh, training, uh, certificate, uh, yeah, let's just look. Let's just look it up. Hold up, something like this, right? Um, it, anyways, it will list. Um, I don't know. It might list something like this: your name, you completed X amount of hours, the name of my company, or the name of the training. 
um, you know, whatever. And the date you completed it with my signature and blah, blah, blah. Now, if I put my courses on Udemy, I will be able to issue those out. But being that I put mine all on YouTube, I can't issue them out. But for those of you, I'm thinking about actually implementing this into my program. Because for those of you who actually go over here and you sign up for any of my study materials, I think I'm going to actually include that as a part of the package where you go, go through the training. And then once you submit, I, I got to submit some type of documentation. I'll, I'll issue you a training certificate. And let's just say I had that set up right now. You will be able to use that to uh, provide documentation to CompTIA that you completed an official training course. Because like I stated once again, I'm not just a fly by night. Like you go look my name up in association with authorized partners. My name technology, my company technology G is going to pop up on that list. So we're legit over here. Um, but anyways, that's that's one option you can do. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to work that into it. So um, oh, you want to get your CCNA as well? Get that. But um, like I say, once I once I work that into it. Cause what it is, I gotta, there's gotta be a way that I can verify that, you know, training certification, uh, training certificates. It's not going to be the actual it cert cause I'm not the one that tests you for the exam. But like I say, it will be a certificate of training saying you got trained by me, X amount of videos, blah, 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 blah. And then that will be, that will qualify as official documentation. You can submit and let's, let's just say you're trying to renew your A+. Plus. Well, they will give you 20 CEUs for that. Uh, continuing educational units. Or if it was Network Plus, 30. Security Plus, 50. And so on and so forth, right? Attending a live webinar. Um, let's see what they got. Let's see what they're talking about down here. I don't know exactly what this entails, but this will get you four CEUs for at least the A+, plus, right? Uh, you can earn one CEU for each hour you attend. You must attend the webinar during your three-year renewal. At least 50% of the webinar content must relate to one or more exam objectives. Um, and you have to submit some, some documentation. Okay, here we go. So you would have to submit a detailed description outline of the webinar, um, completion certificates, a registration email with your name, the webinar, the date, the number of hours. So in theory, I could actually, you set up webinars too, where I, where I, and this is just, I'm just talking theoretical now. I'm not saying that I'm actually doing this, but let's just say I was like, all right, guys, uh, what's today's date? September 12th. Let's just say October 1st, I'm conducting a webinar talking about uh, how to get in, how to get started in IT, right? And let's just say that webinar lasted two hours or something like that. You signed up and I presented like a certificate of training. That could qualify you technically for some CEUs if I were to start doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the, those are more options, but you can, you can find these options through various things. You go attend a conference. Um, I know I live down here in Orlando, Florida. We got conferences all over the doggone place down here. A lot of IT, cybersecurity. As a matter of fact, there's a cybersecurity conference that uh, my boss is trying to get me to go to in about a month or so. So if I go to that conference, I can I can add that to the list, man, of educational units for whatever cert, uh, certification I'm trying to renew. And all I got to do is just submit this information right here. Description of it, my name, the conference, the date of the conference and how many hours I was there. And that'll count. So, you know, those those are some options. Right. Complete a college course. Like what we talked about over here. Um. All right. So this says you can complete a college course. At least 50 percent of the course must relate to one or more ob exam objectives. You got to submit some documentation, outline some transcripts and all that stuff. So um, anybody out there going to college, you're taking like a cybersecurity class or something like that or whatever. This might be an option for you right here. If you're trying to renew, assuming that you are. And remember, this is for those who already have certifications and they're trying to find a way to renew it without having to go sit down and take the exam again. I just started studying for A plus G. I'm starving for a new career. Well, well, welcome to the right channel. We out here doing things, man. You come over here to my website or watch my YouTube videos. We'll get you right out in these streets. Um, 
You can go, you can go check my results. I post them on Instagram all the time. Uh, here's my Instagram right here. It's called Tech G. I need some more followers, y'all. But anyways, I post screenshots. People who go through and tell me they passed off my materials. Some people actually send me a copy of their certification, which which is which is great. I appreciate that. I post this stuff all the time. We just we just go down the list. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't. That's as far as I can go on the list. But anyways, I'm, I'm helping people get right out in these streets. <laughs> if you want to get right. Uh, what else? I don't even know what this is. But anyways, you can just go ahead and start clicking some a myriad of options you can do from that from that list over there. Uh, what else? Let's let's see what else we got. So you can participate. Uh, let's see. We talked about training in higher education. Now they have an option where you can participate in IT industry activities. So what is this? What's this talking about? Let's see. Look at this, y'all. You can go teach or mentor people. Look at that. So you out there, you trying to help, you trying to help the babies out. You can go out there and start teaching and mentoring these kids and, and or whoever, and you can earn a CEU. So for A plus, they'll give you ten of them. You can earn a max of ten. Like that, right? Right. Uh, could I take the ITF and pass without studying? I have months of experience. Yeah, I got a lot of people that take this. Uh, well, you know, I, I don't know. Oh, you mean, you know what? If you got, I'm not going to say whether or not you can pass without studying because I don't, I don't have like a um, definitive guideline and set of rules on studying. So if you feel you're that good and you can go out there and pass it, by all means, handle your business. But I'll just, I will warn you that based on my experience people who do not study for certs no matter how much they think they know they increase the odds of them failing i'll put it that way because i i had a guy or a woman i, I want to assume it's a guy who emailed me or sent me a message a couple a couple weeks ago they say they've been in it for like over a decade and they failed the a plus certification about three or four times and they can't figure out what's going on and this person's like i know all this stuff yada 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 but I told this person, I think you may be suffering from test anxiety. That's what I think it might be with him. But if you feel you can do it without studying, by all means, handle your business. I would highly encourage you to study, though. Um, you can earn CEUs, too. Yeah, I can earn CEUs as well. I mean, that's what I, I submitted some. So um, a couple months ago, I was telling you guys I had to go redo my Security Plus because um, it was about to expire. Basically, I wasn't keeping track of my stuff. I was like, oh, man, all my certs are about to expire. Easiest thing I could have did was just renew my, my security plus. But I decided to try to renew my A plus and my net plus using some of the methods because I never did this before. And so I'll show you all what I did in a second. But you can teach or mentor. Um, so technically, this could quali I can qualify for this as well. Um, as a matter of fact, this is one of the things I actually submitted. So I had to submit a, a lesson plan as because I've, I've been teaching people offline. So I actually submitted a, a syllabus with my name on it, the material that I was teaching, the dates I was teaching it, all that stuff. So I ended up getting points off of this right here. Creating instructional material. I did this as well. I have I got a whole doggone website over here of courses that I've put up. So I got instructional materials in conjunction with the YouTube videos. So I qualified for that method as well. Um, where is it at? Hold up. I just lost it. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. So I've, I've done, I qualify for some points off of this method, and there was another way. Um, oh, yeah, right here. Um, you like blogging? I do. Obviously, I, I run a blog over here, so I like blogging. But you can get, if you out here writing, publishing papers and white papers, blogs, books, you can get it popping. I haven't wrote, I haven't written a book, but I have, I have done blogs. <laughs> so, um, you just got to meet the uh, the qualifications for it. Uh, I got a whole bunch of blog posts that are more than 500 words over there. And then you know, I had to submit all this stuff. So anyways, I so this is ways that I went through and I renewed my A plus and Network Plus certifications. Like I said, I could have just went and just retook my Security Plus and it would have been all good. And I have done the Security Plus already. But I just wanted to go through and try to submit stuff this way just to see if it will work. And, and it worked for me. Um, and basically when you submit all this stuff, 
Uh, what is the what is the site that you got to go check? Hold on. It's uh, CompTIA um, certification login. I think that's it. Yeah, I think this is it. Is this it? I don't know. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah. So, anyways, okay. Yeah, this is it. So, you would come to this website. Um, you get up there, it's going to show you all this information. It's going to. I'll probably uh, have to take screenshots. Can't be putting all my my. Private, so I'm not going to go in here and log in. But anyways, you go in there, you log in. It's going to show you all the certs you have, when they expire, your CEUs, how much how much money you got to pay. Oh, yeah, let's talk about the money because that because that, that's another thing. You got to pay. Listen, you got to pay money for this stuff, right? When you're out here renewing um, your certs. So let's let's find the money. All right, here we go. Continuing education fees. So you can go through and do all this stuff, but you still got to pay comp to you some money. <laughs> they want their money. So. You have an annual uh, continuing education fee of $25 a year or $75 if you just pay every three years. What this means is if you go through and you do these single activities that we just talked about, uh, with the exception of going to get a higher level cert, or no, even with the higher level cert, or, or you go through and do these other activities, um, you still got to break them off some cheese. So... You can go through and submit all that stuff. Matter of fact, you can't even start submitting this stuff until you pay them the fee. Now that I think about it, but look, it's it's only it, it's not like it's super expensive, right? Um, at least it shouldn't be. So, like I say, A plus, they charge you twenty five dollars a year, seventy five dollars. Network plus fifty a year, one fifty, so on and so forth, right? I'm, I'm assuming everybody should be hopefully able to afford that, but if not, uh, I want to say they probably got options for you out there. But um, so you got to pay, you got to pay money. When you out here trying to uh, go through the pro, why do I keep losing? When you out here trying to go through the process of picking whatever path that you want to go through to um, renew your certifications, all right? I will be a great mentor. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I'm like I say. I'm trying to get out into my local community and spread the good word to the babies out here about tech and IT and some of these young adults who are lost and confused. Because that, that's what I want to do. I'm gonna keep. I'm going to keep uh, bumping my gums to y'all online, teaching y'all and schooling y'all up. But I want to I want to make an impact in my local community. Uh, when will CompTIA A plus expire? So we talked about that at the beginning of the video, but we'll go over it one more time. So let's, let's look at this window, the renewal cycle. Right. Let's look at this window. So these vouchers are good for three years. All right. So let's read this. Uh, the CompTIA cert. Uh, hold on, let me get this off. Hold on. All right, the certification renewal cycle is three years from your certification date. So today is September 12th. If you went out there and you uh, passed the second exam for your A+, because remember, A+, is two parts. It's two separate tests. You got to pass both tests in order to get A+, certified, right? So you pass your second test, you A+, you're officially A+, certified as of September 12th, 2021. Your A+, cert is not going to expire until September 12th, 2024, three years from the date that you got certified. So that's what this says right here. That's all this is talking about right here. Now, like I was saying, you could probably hit the rewind button on this video, but I was basically going through all the various options you have to, um, to, uh, where, where'd it go? The various options you have to go about renewing these, these certs. Oh, here we go. To go about renewing these certs so that you don't have to sit down and take the test again because um let's, let's go to my website over here uh, so you go up top you hit exam vouchers up here i sell vouchers in case y'all are interested in buying i don't make a lot of money off these but i at least give you some type of discount so comp to your voucher right you go through me you'll pay 215 dollars per voucher remember you gotta it's two vouchers right you gotta get two of these um, you don't have to do them at the same time. You can do one test tomorrow. You can do another test six, seven, eight months from now. But if you go through CompTIA, you're going to be paying $232. So you can do you can do it that way. You can be like, oh, my A-plus about to expire. Let me just go take the test again. All right, you're looking at $200 per exam, $400 and some change, right? Or 
you got other options to renew it. Everything from uh, attending IT events, uh, writing articles and blogs, completing uh, non CompTIA industry certifications, or getting a higher level CompTIA cert, uh, doing some uh, cert master stuff. We already talked about this. This is like a six to eight hour class. You just sit there and watch some videos and do whatever the heck they have you do for about six or eight hours, and bam, you can renew your stuff. And that's like a hundred something. How much was this again? Let's see. This is actually kind of somewhat new. Look, this is $129. <laughs> so you got you got a whole bunch of options as opposed to you going through and buying another voucher to sit down and take the test. Now, if you want to do this, that's totally you. That's totally fine. I just highly encourage you to come through me because, you know, look, I'm saving you a little bit of money here. But you got other options out there that you can you can go about to try to renew search. But understand, like I say, you have to have the cert first. This is only for people. This is this this is only for people who actually already have the certification. Now, if you don't have the certification, well, you're gonna have to come over here and buy a voucher, and we, we're gonna have to get you know sign up for a class. You can sign up for my stuff. Uh, you know, I got labs on here. I got study notes. I got all kind of stuff, man. I'm actually thinking about trying to bring this online to guys to, to you all as well to where see I've had people ask because here's the thing. My stuff is self-paced. So basically you sign up, you watch my videos, you go through and you study on your own. I'm not going to study with you. I got some people that they can't do that. They prefer the student teacher dynamic. And so I have people that ask me, can I teach them this stuff online? So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. And once I get that up and running, I'll have another option on here where somebody signs up and my goal will be in about 30 to 45 days, get you trained up. And 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 uh, ready to go take this dog on test, but you got to come over. You got to get you got to get these vouchers. So this is so all this stuff on my side is for people who are not certified. If you're already certified, these are options you have to keep your certification valid without you having to go take the test over again. Everybody tracking? Um, how do you find a mentor? Um, I guess there are plenty of ways you can do that. Uh, you, you know, you, you can go find somebody in your local area that kind of does what you want to do and hopefully, you know, just go talk to him or her and be like, Hey, can you, uh, can you mentor me? Can you show me the ways of how I can become more proficient or learn whatever it is that, uh, you do for a living so I can learn it. Hopefully they'll take you on or you can just, you know, I can mentor you to a certain extent, I guess. Cause you just say, I guess, what'd you say? I guess you do mentor us. You know, I just try to give you my, my knowledge. I've been in IT for almost 20 years. As a matter of fact, let me see how many years. Uh, let me see. Uh, I started IT in 1999 or 98. I failed a class in college because I was in there trying to holler at chicks. <laughs> I was in there trying to holler at girls. So I messed around and failed the class, and I never took a class again until 2003 is when I actually got back into IT. So we're coming up on uh, eight, I'm 18, going on 19 years of doing this. So I just try to take all my real world experience. Um, matter of fact, we go we go up here. You want to know a little bit about me? I put it up here. So I'll, I'll read y'all's my bio, or you can just go watch this video. I have it posted on the site. But here's my little background. So I'm an OEF, OIF, U.S. Army vet. I served for 13 years on active duty from 2002 to 2015. During that time, I deployed twice to the Mid East. I've been in IT since 2002. I started out in the Army. I got three college degrees, bachelor's in applied science, master's in information technology, which has an emphasis on information assurance, and I have an MBA. I, ha I have uh, six IT certs, IT fundamentals, A+, Net+, Security+, ITL, and CCNA. I've worked in various roles in IT. From a help I did everything from a help desk technician. I was a system administrator. I was a service desk manager. I've done IT analytical research for Fortune 500 companies, and I've actually taught entry-level IT to teenagers and adults. So this is everything that I've done related to IT over the past 18 going on 19 years. All right. So I'm just trying to take my knowledge. What up, Savage Scientist? I'm just trying to take my knowledge and, uh, you know, go out there and, uh, you know, spread, spread the good word to people who want to get into IT. Because the focus of my channel is entry-level IT, right? I'm not really going above, like when I do my next class, Security Plus, that's that's pretty much going to be where I stop. 
Anything above that, I'm not really going to be dwelling too deep off into that. Uh, that's going to be some paywall stuff, or it's going to be some other some some uh, activities reserved for my my IT training academy that I hope to bring to life one day. But my main focus is this right here, and um, like I said, I'm just I'm just really just trying to help people get started because um, you know, believe it or not, it's it's just a lot. It's a lot of people that don't know a lot about IT, and you know, to me, it seems weird. But then again, I've been doing it for so many years, so. That's that's my main mission in life, man. To help you all go out there and become marketable, and uh, be able to keep and uh, you know be able to uh, work in an industry that is going to forever be hiring people. Because, like I did my little video yesterday, somebody asked me a question about um, what was the question? Um, you know. Whenever this thing loads, man, this thing is moving slow today. So I did this video yesterday right here. I was like, listen, um, I don't care what's going on. It could be it could be zombies walking around. We gonna, as long as there's some electricity and some computers, there's going to be an IT job out there waiting for you. So, so I'm just trying to school people up because last year with the, with the whole uh, pandemic, that kind of that kind of really threw a lot of people in for. For, for it them off guard and they was out there just kind of flapping in the wind didn't really know what to do because you know you got the government saying you got to shut things down and businesses got to restructure and reorganize their operations and blah 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 all that stuff y'all see on the news but and some of that stuff ended up costing people jobs ended up getting laid off yada 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 in various you know sections of the economy but with it oh we was pumping and jumping over here we was we, we was getting to the money because no matter what was going on out there, everybody and their mama still want to get on the internet. They still want to go watch YouTube videos. They still want to go watch their, their Netflix shows. They want to go buy stuff off Amazon. They want to make TikTok videos. They want to do this. They want to do that. They want to post to Facebook. They want to, you, you got women out there, women and men went out there. Uh, let's talk about this real quick. OnlyFans. Y'all know what the website OnlyFans is, right? Only fans got had women out there, mostly women that I know or I've heard of, out there making ten, twenty thousand dollars a month doing whatever they do on OnlyFans. Now, that website wouldn't be possible without IT. <laughs> Somebody got to keep the servers churning. Somebody got to, you know, keep the ones and zeros flowing so people can go out there and do whatever they do on OnlyFans and make a living. So, we saw the need for IT and technology did not go away it didn't fade it didn't slip one bit if anything it increased the need for it how many of y'all were working from home last year or had the option to work from home where you had to sign in through a vpn or you were using microsoft teams or some other uh some other um program video conferencing software so you can work thank thank your it professionals for for making that happen everybody from people who do networking to cybersecurity to uh, people like my man, Savage Scientist, who's actually a computer scientist, who I think he deals with like data and and, um, and he does some other stuff over there. Y'all go sub to him as well. But people like me, people like him, people, uh, everybody who coded up this stuff, there was a need for it. None of that stuff ever slowed down. So I'm here just to try to teach, teach people who want to get into this because they see that there's some type of quote unquote job security Now understand this isn't hundred percent job. Uh, there, there's no such thing as hundred percent job security, but this industry, especially during last year when everybody was getting laid off and fearful of what they were going to do. I didn't come across too many people working in tech that was scared of losing their job. Like I didn't come across that many people or if they were in fear of losing a job, they knew that there was another job around the corner. Cause I told you guys in this video yesterday, you go sign up for LinkedIn. You go sign up for Indeed. Put your resume out there. Uh, turn on those email notifications. Your inbox is going to get blasted with IT job, um, with IT jobs, people, people advertising jobs. And I'm talking about all over the place. Don't matter where you live. You live in Lincoln, Nebraska. Again, let, matter of fact, let's let's do it right now. Let's let's go to uh, Indeed.com, right? Let's see what we got cracking out uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. Let's do entry level 
Uh, let's just type in A plus, right? A plus certification, right? So let's just see what we got cracking up. Oh, that is spelled Lincoln wrong. Hold on, I sure did. Hold on. Link spell Lincoln. L I. See what we got cracking in your area, right? So I just typed in A plus certification. Y'all can do this too. And I did that because it's going to pull up all the jobs that have A plus listed in the job description. All right. So here we go. We got a job right here. I don't know what this is. Whoa. They, all right. Let's see. They talking about 100 to 200,000 a year. I, need, I might need to apply for this. What are we doing out here? What is this? What the heck is this? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, this is a sales job. Okay. I suck at sales. All right, I don't know what that is. All right, let's let's find something else. All right, here we go. We got a full time job. They prefer bachelors. Here's all the stuff you're gonna do. Qualifications. Look at this right here. They want you to have a CCNA and an A plus, right? Three to five years knowledge. You're gonna be installing software. You need to be familiar with TCP/IP stuff. Microsoft Server Active Directory, uh, Google G Suite, Microsoft Office. Uh, you need to troubleshoot some stuff. Basically, all this says to me is you're probably going to be running around plugging in Cat5 cables, resetting user passwords, uh, fixing the internet around the office. That's all you're going to be doing. Uh, are you going to be managing other people that are that are actually doing it? I mean, and look, that's 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 cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I'm not I'm not trying to degrade it, but I'm just reading this stuff. That's what it sounds like you're going to be doing. You're going to be running around in charge of people who are fixing uh printers. Plugging in network cables, trying to fix the Wi-Fi so that everybody can be happy when they're out there doing what they do. I wonder how much they pay. But anyway, it's a full-time job. And they say something about some benefits in here. Did they or was it the other one? But anyways, that's the type of stuff you're going to be doing out there, right? A-plus cert, get you in the door, All right? What else? We got a field tech paying 25 to 27 an hour. What they do out here? Let's see. This is in Lincoln, Nebraska, right? Look, all you need is a high school diploma or a GED, right? You ain't even got to go to college for this. You need one year installation and repair. Uh, you need to have experience working with Windows, voice over IP, some Cisco stuff, and some other wireless technologies. Uh, look at this. You're going to be pulling Cat5 cables. Didn't I just say this is what y'all going to be doing? Basically, all this means you're going to be running around plugging in network cables or setting up, setting up drops. That's what you're going to be doing. Nothing wrong with that. Look at this. You need A plus, Network Plus, MCSE, and some other stuff, right? But that, that'll get you in the door, right? That'll get you in the door. Uh, what else? What is this? Laundry man. What they talking about? You need to be a uh, hold on. What is this? You need they have A plus for this? What are they doing? Or did they just throw this up in here because it said A and a plus somewhere? I think that's what happened. Oh, okay. See here, here okay. They threw this up in here because they got A plus. <laughs> They got A plus since 2007. That's why they threw that in. I was like, wait a second. Laundry attendance? What really going on? All right. But yeah, man, you just, like I said, you just go down and listen and look at this stuff, right? Let's look at this one. IT help desk technician. All right. Uh, all the stuff you're going to do, blah, blah, blah. Look, A plus, net plus uh, are... Money out. Uh, oh, I'm trying to come back. Give me a second. Am I still my back? I don't know if I'm back. All right. All right. I think I'm back. My connection had dropped. I think I'm back. All right. This this part of the reason why I'm trying. I, I got to go get a hardwired connection. So, anyways. Anyway, I hope this answers some questions, right? Am I still there? All right. I think I hear myself on my phone. We good. All right. So, all right. Yeah, my connection dropped. So, this is part of the reason why I opened up the video talking about these things right here. These TP-Link AV2000 uh, power line adapters, right? So, I got these joints right here. Basically, they turn my house into one big Cat5 cable at the end of the day. Right, because in my current office where I'm at, I don't have a cat five drop.
joints and plug it into an outlet in my room where I'm currently sitting at downstairs. And then I take the Cat5 cable, plug it into my laptop, and basically it pushes the ones and zeros across the wires in my house. So it's almost like essentially I got one giant Cat5 cable in my house is, is kind of what this is like. But the problem is my MacBook, I forgot I didn't have a dog on. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a NIC, uh, a hardwired NIC to plug the Cat5 cable into my dog on MacBook. So now I got to go get a US, I got to go get an Ethernet to USB adapter. <laughs> I thought I had one laying around, but I don't. So that's why I'm operating off Wi-Fi. But if I wasn't, I wouldn't be experiencing this choppiness and all this other crap. So anyways, hopefully that solves some questions, uh, saw some questions. Hopefully that answers some questions about renewal. So once again, you just type in how to renew your CompTIA certification. And you get all you get all these options, right? You get a plethora of options to pick from. Um, the easiest option, in my opinion, if you're getting started, is to simply just get a higher level cert. So you go out there, you just get you start out, you got your A plus, go get your network plus. That'll automatically renew that. Go get security plus. So just go get a higher level cert. Now don't go out, no, don't go out there and just start chasing certifications just for the sake of chasing certifications. Get certs that are related to your job or the, get certs that are related to what you want to do. But like, but like I say, if you get a higher level cert, they're going to automatically, this is the easiest way that I can think of is go get another cert and you'll be good money out in these streets. All right. Any, any questions for me? I'm about to go. It's, it's uh, almost six o'clock and my wife is making spaghetti and I love me some spaghetti. Any, any more questions for me before, before we roll up out of here? But shout out to Savage Scientist. Y'all go sub to this brother. As a matter of fact, let's go pull up his channel real quick so y'all can kind of see what he out here talking about. In case y'all are into some of the stuff he into. Uh, let's see. Savage Scientist. There you go, right here. So he be out here talking about some stuff, computer science and technology uh what do you got what do you got he'd be talking about data structure units like he gets he gets real deep like um what, what is i can't remember what his background let's look it up uh, okay so he has a he has a, a degree in computer science and it but he gets a little he gets slightly deeper with the stuff than i do um like i say i'm mostly here just to teach you guys how to pass certifications he takes it slightly a little deeper than me but he's still good. You know what I'm saying? Go check him out and support that brother right there. Uh, any, any other, how to take this off? Any, any other questions for me before we roll up out of here? Any questions for me? So, uh, so yeah, man. So this, this is how we're going to be doing things. I'm probably going to start live streaming from my computer, especially as soon as I go get that dog on Ethernet, the USB adapter. Like I said, if you guys got questions, man, just, just drop them in the comment section. Or hit me up on Instagram, and then you know I'll probably make a video, and we'll uh, we'll get out here and uh, you know we'll talk about it, man. So, so hopefully I can answer some questions, give you all the warm and fuzzies. Those of you who aren't in IT, let y'all know this is not as complicated as you think it is. The most complicated thing about getting started in IT is studying. That's it. People 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 do do it all kind of things to avoid the actual act of studying. <laughs> just just go study. Just go, just go study. Oh, you about to get those too? Yeah, I've had mine for a few months now, and I just, I just started. I was like, let me go ahead and plug these bad boys up. But um, hey, let me put it back on the screen. Hold on, uh, cause so, anyways, you go. These things only cost. Um, I got these. Oh, I don't remember buying. Okay, maybe I can't remember how much I paid for them, but I don't think it was that much. But anyways, I got the I got the ones with the two ports on it. So this is what mine's look like right here. We got two two ports and another plug. So like I say, you plug this into the wall because this thing's gonna take it's gonna hog the whole outlet for the most part. But it gives you another outlet that you can plug directly into. And like I said, you just hook up a Cat five cable to your to your router. Uh, uh, you take you plug it into a LAN port on your router, not the WAN port, but the LAN, the local area network port. And then you go down to your room, whatever room you want to go into, and you plug it in, hit the little pair button so that these things can talk to each other over the wires in your house. You plug another Cat5 cable into here and plug it into your computer. 
And it's almost like you have a direct hardwire connection to your router. That, that's what it kind of simulates. And then if you want to include another one in a separate room, you just go buy another one and plug it into the room, and pair it up, and you're good to go. So that's a that's a way cheaper alternative than having the uh, the cable company or whoever come through and run a drop directly to your room. Or you can just go ahead and get you some Wi-Fi extenders. But I want, you know, when you're live streaming, for those of you who do live streaming, it's best to have a hardwired connection. It's, it's highly recommended you be hardwired versus uh, dealing with Wi-Fi when you're live streaming. So that's why I got these. So, um, you know, they, they're good to go. Uh, I just got to go. I just got to go get a, a thing for it. <laughs> so, but it, it, it turns the wires into my house into a giant Cat5 cable, essentially what it does. Um, let's see. Shout out to the hoodie guy. He says, G, you are the best. Please give me a shout out. Uh, I don't know if I'm the best. I just, I'm just comfortable at, I just know what I know. <laughs> Look, there's only like two things I really know. Well, I know it and I know the, I know the army. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm pretty good. There's some other people out there who are great. In other areas of IT, I don't know every aspect about IT. Um, I'm, I'm only versed in cer a certain, you know, one or two lanes. But my method, I, you know, with this channel that I got, like I say, my goal is to try to teach y'all IT um, in the most simplistic uh, manner that I can think of, to where people, to where the masses can understand it, and you know, hopefully, it makes sense by the time I'm done. Because you know, you go out there, you'll take some class with some other people, and there's no shade to anybody, but I'm just saying. You go take class with other people. They got they're oftentimes loaded up with a bunch of corny jokes. They skip and jump all over the place, or they talk in a language that's slightly above the comprehension level of the person that you're trying to resonate with. I'm just like, I just got to be. It's just too much going on out here. So, hopefully, my my style is is uh, suitable for the masses to where they can understand it. And so far. Most people who take my stuff, they they seem to be uh they seem to be good to go. I haven't really had you know people complaining, you know at least they haven't told me directly. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I'm about to go. Hopefully that uh like I say, hit me up in the uh the comments or on Instagram in the messages or whatever if you got questions, and then uh you know we'll come on here give a give another presentation if need be, so that hopefully everybody else can uh get that same information as well. And uh, once again, if you want to support it, uh, go to Technology G. I got I got notes, I got labs, I got vouchers. Um, you know, spread the word. Tell your mama, your daddy, and and your boyfriend, girlfriends all about me. So, you know, in case they want to get into IT, tell you, tell your little cousin that ain't doing nothing but sitting around playing video games all day. You know, trying to get them to get into a career, send them my way, and I get them right. All right, I appreciate everybody's tuned in. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.